It runs approximately 196 feet. The wingspan is about 105 feet. And to the top of the vertical fins, the height is approximately 31 feet. The weight, much greater than that of a B-52 in our latest configuration. The nose section, as it starts to emerge from the building, is built entirely of titanium. There are over 12,000 pounds of titanium in this airplane. The two-man crew will sit side by side. The crew station in this position is about 20 feet above the ground. At touchdown during landing, the pilot will be about 30 feet above the ground and he'll be approximately 110 feet ahead of the main landing gear. One of the novel features of this airplane is the movable windshield and nose ramp. It moves to a fair position, streamlined, to reduce drag at very high speed. The white paint you see applied to the entire air vehicle is there to reflect some of the heat from the 450 to 630 degree Fahrenheit airstream that we will encounter at Mach 3. Even with this protection, the fuel carried aboard the XB-70 is required to absorb heat at a rate that would keep 46 room houses warm in the coldest Minnesota winter. All of, all of the uh, space aft of the crew compartment is taken up by fuel, both in the fuselage and in the wing. There are no so-called uh, conventional fuel bags or fuel cells in this airplane. The fuel is simply pumped inside the shell of the wing and fuselage structure. So all of that structure had to be absolutely leak-proof. In the inlet duct, each side of the duct provides air to three engines. This is one of the longest feet uh, ducts. The audience has broken into spontaneous applause as the sleek white Delta Wing aircraft comes to rest. The inlet duct is one of the longest ever designed into an airplane. It's approximately 80 feet long. Most of the structure in the wings and fuselage is of stainless steel. These are our now famous honeycomb core sandwich panels. And many of the outer skins on these honeycomb panels are as thin as seven one thousandths of an inch. The airplane contains over 20,000 square feet, approximately a half acre of these stainless steel panels. As you circulate around the airplane, you'll note the six J-93 engines in the after body. Each of these engines delivers thrust in the 30,000 pound category. And yet, each engine weighs only 5,000 pounds. One of the novel features of the propulsion subsystem is the capability of continuous afterburner operation in flight. The flight control system is quite novel also. As you walk around the aft end of the airplane, you'll note the elevons located in the wing trailing edge. They operate in unison for pitch control and asymmetrically for roll control. The large twin vertical tails provide directional control and they are novel in that they have a canned hinge line. The canard or the horizontal stabilizer up front 
is used to trim or bounce. If you enjoyed the show you just saw, click the like, thumbs up, or share button underneath the video. And why not try your own Jetflix TV account? It costs peanuts per month, and if you're a hardcore airliner freak, you are going to love it.